Hi guys, it's Kylie. Um, I'm an incoming freshman at MIT who is accepted into Harvard, MIT, Stanford, and Caltech. And I'm here to talk to you guys about how I scored a five on my AP biology test, um, what that meant, and some tips on how I did it. Let's go. Okay, so the AP biology test is one notoriously one of the hardest um, biology tests out there. Like it has one of the lowest um, percentages of people who score a five. And so um, I'll tell you a little bit about my experience with it. So I took an AP biology class at my high school and it was the first year it was officially called an AP class. It used to be called dual credit, which means that my high school partnered up with the local community college to offer some college credit for the, taking the class at the high school. Um, and the information was at a higher level. Um, so it was the first year they switched it from dual credit to AP. And so um, I was like really hyped because who doesn't like AP credit? because AP is more universal than dual credit is. So I took the class and um, it was notoriously difficult at my high school too because the teacher was very, very strict. His name was Mr. Price and um, I actually got to know him pretty well. So it was a very, um, very nice experience for me, but it really wasn't for other people. <laughs> so I feel kind of bad, but anyway, um, with the class, he, Mr. Price, he split it up into like lectures and labs. So he did labs maybe like twice a week and all the other days were either like working on things like um, worksheets or reviews for tests or that kind of thing or he would lecture about the information in the textbook. So the textbook we used was the biology bible so to speak, um, Campbell, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L, -L, Campbell. And so that textbook is probably well known for being the textbook that you need to use for AP Bio and basically all biology in general. It has all the information you need. And so what we, um, how I studied for the class was I would read the textbook um, throughout the time that we were working on that certain unit. And um, because of that, I would often read ahead of his lectures and that actually helped me a lot. So I think that's a general, college strategy too you generally read ahead in the textbook um so i applied that to this biology class and it really helped me a lot and i think it also helped prepare me for the ap exam as well and so basically what happened is that um to prepare for the ap exam as well as tests in this class i would i would read the textbook sometimes multiple times in the chapter if i didn't understand it and then um, we would do labs in class that would reinforce the material in a more um you know straightforward and practical way and then I would, um, you know, review for the test, take the test. And then at the end, I would do some problems that were sort of related to AP or that kind of thing. But I didn't do a lot of the practice problems, actually. So that's what um, confuses a lot of people when I tell them about my experience with AP biology. Because throughout the year and leading up to the AP exam time, I didn't do a lot of the AP exam questions at all. For physics and chem, I did them like constantly throughout the year. But for biology, I didn't do any. So um, I think it was like maybe a month out from the exam, I started doing, I started looking at problems. So College Board obviously has a lot of like released previous tests and stuff. So I looked those up and then did problems and things like that. But aside from that, I didn't do any practice at all. So. Um, the week before the exam was like heavy cram time because of that because I wanted to kind of see what kinds of problems there were but but when like I was going through them I already knew all the information from my previous like study habits so that's what I think is really good about this strategy is that um, if you read the textbook a lot and you make sure you understand the information in it and that it really sticks like you review constantly and you make sure that the labs make sense and correspond with the information that you learn in the textbook and from lectures, then you're on the right track. Because a lot of biology is just knowing the information, being able to apply it to certain situations on the test, that kind of thing. So as long as you're familiar with all of that, then it should be really easy. And so um, I guess from all this, the number one tip is that you should read the textbook. You have to read Campbell. Um, yeah, because Campbell's the number one recommended, I think. So, um, besides from that, so when we got from the exam, I was studying by looking up previous exams, right? And so, um, to when I was doing that, I would work on a lot of 
multiple choice first. So I did a lot of multiple choice and I graded myself and I made sure to mark down the kinds of questions that I like missed to try and see if I was missing questions from a certain sort of like style, you know? And then I would look up more questions from that style and that helped me. That's a general testing strategy for all standardized tests, like ACT, SAT, any sort of AP, that kind of thing. So um, if you write down all those questions you miss, you might find a pattern with that. So that's a very good strategy as well. And specifically for biology, um, it helped remind me what sections of information I should go back and review. So I ended up reading a lot of like the earlier chapters, a lot at the end because, you know, I didn't really remember them as well because they weren't as fresh. And so a lot of biology builds and it's always good to have a good foundation like that. So focus on those early chapters and um, I'm sure you'll do better. And so besides from that, um, I didn't actually do a lot of free response practice, which I regret the most. I went into the free response very, very blind. So I wouldn't recommend that. Even though I got a five on the exam, um, I think it was just due to my mastery of information, but I definitely could have prepared more for the free response. Definitely more. I probably only did like one test worth of practice problems, which is very, very bad. So don't do like I did. Um, do some more practice, make sure you're familiar with the formatting and that kind of thing. Cause um, when I took the test, I didn't know how to like write my answers down or anything like that. It was really embarrassing. So make sure you know how to do that. Um, my teacher was one who um, didn't really enforce that. So he didn't give out any practice problems or anything like that. So that kind of went into that and didn't help very much with that at all. So um, if your teacher gives out more problems, then good for you. But um, those are the kinds of tips that I have and I hope that was helpful. If you didn't notice that at that point, um, it was a reference to Bozeman Biology, which is my second topic of this video. Bozeman Biology is a YouTube channel. He is a teacher who teaches biology and chemistry and he is your number two resource after your textbook. So if you don't understand something, watch his videos. He has videos on all sorts of topics on biology and chemistry, a lot of them mesh. And so they're really good to watch if you don't understand something and he explains them very well and very concisely, yet in depth into topic. So it really, really helped me understand concepts that I didn't get in class during lectures. He helped clear up things that my teacher didn't clear up very well. And so um, basically you could say that AP Biology is taught by Bozeman. He is very, very good at what he does. And so I would definitely take advantage of that to help reinforce even the information from the textbook. Even if you understand it, it it'll really help to have it from different sources, you know? Aside from that, basically AP Biology is just like any AP test. You need to know the information and you need to know it well. So basically go into the test feeling as confident as you can. Whether that means practicing a lot of problems or going over the textbook again, just do the things that make you feel more confident and I'm sure you'll do better because you know a lot of test taking is mental, that kind of thing. So I hope the, these tips have been helpful and I'll see you next week. Bye.